Yeah, welcome back to The Breakfast on Plus TV Africa. It's now time for Today in History. And on this day in history, June the 2nd, 2020, um, something not so great occurred in the Democratic Republic of Congo. And it was about an Ebola outbreak, the 11th Ebola outbreak in that country. And it reportedly killed five people in the city of Mabandaka in the DRC. Now, these five people include a 15-year-old girl you know, we know that the WHO announced earlier that there were six new cases of Ebola in the country's, you know, northwest. And um, it had a fatality rate of anywhere between 25% and 90%, depending on the outbreak of, of the Ebola. Now, the DRC struggled to contain that outbreak of um, Ebola, which began in 2018 in the eastern part of the country. And um, about 3,406 cases were reported with 2,243 deaths, according to the WHO. Um, there were no cases in the past 24 days in that outbreak, in the past 21 days, and that's because Ebola has an incubation period of about 21 days, you know. So this virus, Ebola, lives in bats, and um, it was a new outbreak back then, 1st of June, 20. 20 and more than 28,000 people were infected in that epidemic more than 11,000 of them died but it was on this in history that five deaths were confirmed in the DRC um, including that of of a teenager oh, well um, I guess you know I can say a good thing that they learned you know lessons from the last outbreak uh, the one that eventually of course got to Nigeria um, where Dr. Stella Dedevo, of course, you know, played a very, very key role in saving, you know, Nigeria from, you know, experiencing, you know, its own very, very terrible um, Ebola outbreak uh, casualties. Um, so I'm hoping, you know, that, of course, you know, they've continued to also improve on their health care um, in that country. And, you know, if for any reason there's another outbreak of Ebola, um, you know, they are better prepared and, you know, they will be able to save, you know, lives faster and, you know, reduce the... Um, you know, possible kind of fatalities, you know, from, from that. Um, I would never be able to wrap my head around how we get infected with, you know, things from bats, you know, viruses from bats makes absolutely no sense. Um, I don't think anybody should still be eating bats or be, you know, living anywhere where there are bats, you know, if, even if though in Benin there's a tree where there's a lot of bats. Uh, but, you know, the point is um, some of these viruses, you know, are just totally unexplainable how they get into um, you know, our systems and how they become deadly. And how yeah, they, you people, know. people eat them, so that's, that's one way they get into our system. Well, stop. Yes. <laughs> people Stick to would, chicken. Would chicken, would never, chicken never yeah, killed no, anyone. That was a chicken flu. Have you forgotten that? Oh, well, yeah, that's true. That was a chicken flu, so yeah. Well, we fry it well. <laughs> <laughs> no matter, Learn, can, no matter how you it, fry it, can you? <laughs> spice it well. With lots of pepper. Fry it well, yes. That's it disinformation. Kills don't, every... don't listen to that. Well, I'm if just the, saying. If there's a flu and you're aware that a certain animal causes it, please stay away. You can be vegan for a minute. We have lots just of fresh, fry well. fresh pumpkin right. leaves. You can, you can try that. Just, just fry the chicken really, really well. All right, stop eating chicken head and chicken hands. Those things, you know, might cause viruses. And chicken oh. neck. Oh, my Disgusting. God. Disgusting. All right. Moving on, let's, let's move into sports now. On this day, the longest-serving FIFA president, Sepp Blatter, resigned. And of course, it was in the wake of corruption allegations uh, that um, he was facing at this time. If you remember, there was also rumors that uh, there were bribes taken, you know, to move the World Cup to Qatar and some other, some other you know, countries. Um, it, it was a very embarrassing to, a period for Seb Blatter. But on the 2nd of June 2015, um, he, of course, uh, stepped down just a few days after he had been re-elected for a fifth four-year term. His resignation came amid rumors that he would soon be under investigation by the United States and Sweden on charges of fraud and corruption. All over the world, there's a lot of f uh, football fans who celebrated, um, of course, as his 17-year uh, term had over you know, the period been marred with allegations of misdeeds, bribery and corruption, exchange of uh, funds here and there. Um, at the time of his resignation, Blatter was not officially charged with any crimes, but the charges alleged, to, you know, which eventually came alleged widespread corruption over a 24-year period, including wire fraud, racketeering, and money laundering. Officials were also accused of accepting bribes and kickbacks and even buying and selling of their votes for countries like Russia and Qatar and South Africa to hold the World Cup. 
Um, it, it was pretty embarrassing, I'll be honest. He announced uh, four days later that he would, in fact, continue as president, but until a new election could be conducted in 2016, but that wasn't uh, successful. Um, his uh, claims of innocence soon took an even bigger hit. He was accused of making a disloyal payment, if you remember, to uh, Mich Michelle Platini, who was the president of uh, the European Football Association and was expected to take over from Sepp Blatter uh, after his uh, tenure. Um, eventually, Blatter was suspended for FIFA, from FIFA for eight years uh, for that $2 million payment to Platini. And then, eventually, the um, sentence was reduced to six years. Um, but that was basically the end of a 17-year and a very, very long you know, career as a FIFA president for Sepp Blatter. Um, you know, every, a lot of people, you know, growing up in our era, and in our age, you know, only knew one press, uh, FIFA president, and that was Seb Blatter. Before, of course, Jenny Infantino um, stepped in um, 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 after. Um, Seb Blatter was just, you know, the same way with uh, Pope John Paul. Um, you know, if anybody had asked you a couple of years ago who's FIFA president, they were the most popular, you know, in, in the top of those yes. agencies. Um, until, of course, this uh, scandal, you know, came. But And then, you know, there was also, you know, people who, you know, I say you know so much. There was also we'll people who, who, you know, pointed out, you know. Yeah. <laughs> who pointed out that, um, you know, yes, this I know. is I know that the so way well. that it works in, um, in Europe and other countries. And so, um, you know, if he was in an African country, you know, very likely he would have scaled through these uh, corruption allegations and all of that. But those, that, that's just side talk. Um, on this day, Sir Blatter resigned after being accused of being a corrupt FIFA president. Yes, he, he argued that he was innocent, you know. Um, yes, I know that. And, uh, you know, Sir Blatter <laughs> put a message out <laughs> during a press conference when he announced his resignation, saying he would not be a candidate. He's now free from any constraints that elections impose on him. He went on to say that he has fought these changes and the charges before him. He says he will succeed. He cannot do it alone. He, you know, it was just a lot expressing his, his deep concern for FIFA, for sport lovers, you know, just thanking people who have supported him um, as president of FIFA. But it was on this day in history that he, he stepped out. Yeah. Um, sadly, also, he couldn't prove otherwise that he wasn't corrupt. Um, so, you, so regardless of, you know, how much, you know, support that he got, you know, and people who, of course, you know, decided yeah. that he was innocent, including his own claims, he still couldn't prove that he was completely innocent. I mean, he, he lost that position. <sighs> That's what happened today in history, 2nd of June, 2015. Um, Seb Blatter resigned as uh, FIFA president after corruption allegations. And five people in the DRC lost their lives to the Ebola epidemic in 2020. So that's it here. Thank you very much for watching and getting updated to the latest in history. We'll take a break here and return to discuss um, the president's tough talks about insecurity.